The most significant impact of my research is in relationship to understanding how HIV persists in the body and people taking effective treatment. What happens is the virus establishes something called latent infection. Those cells are very, very rare, like a needle in a haystack. And my work has largely focused on how to measure those very low levels of virus, how to mimic what happens in laboratory models and how to activate and eliminate those latently infected cells. And that's quite tricky to do. This has taken decades of work, but it's spanned laboratory models through to clinical trials. I've also played a very major role in advocacy globally about the need for an HIV cure, understanding what patients want from an HIV cure and ensuring that we've got significant research investment to make this all happen. My relationship with Aarhus University started in 2008, a long time ago, and over the subsequent 10 to 15 years, we've had many scientists go backwards and forwards between the two institutions, and I've had the great pleasure of hosting several scientists, but particularly Dr. Thomas Rasmussen, who has spent about five years on and off here in Melbourne, and we continue to have quite significant and extensive collaborations, particularly around clinical trials for HIV cure. Professor Sharon Lewin is a world-renowned physician and scientist within infectious diseases, especially within HIV. And through the International AIDS Society, she is co-leading development of a global scientific strategy for an HIV cure. Professor Sharon Lewin also had an important role in the global response to the COVID-19 pandemic. During her career, Professor Lewin has received many distinguished awards, and we are proud that researchers at Old University are among her long-standing collaborators. 25 years ago, I met Sharon for the first time. She gave an overview at a conference of infectious diseases, and that was amazing. Since then, she has been a huge inspirational source for my academic career. We have people going to her lab and vice versa. We also share a common academic goal, and that is to develop a cure against HIV.